This is a very quick screencast just to show you the basics of getting started using a VMD, which stands for Visual Molecular Dynamics. It's a molecular visualization program, one of a few uh, types of programs that you can use to view and indeed analyze high resolution structural data or indeed you know, lower resolution data sets such as those from EM and, and other techniques. So VMD, I'm just done a Google search here. This is the page I pull up which is over at uh, University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign, where VMD is developed. I'm going to, uh, and you, know, you can read through this and see all the pretty pictures. I'm going to click on the download VMD link here in the sidebar, um, which will bring me to various options. I'm currently recording this on my little Mac uh, laptop, which is running uh, this type of OS. But if you're uh, using a different operating system, the Windows, of course, pick that one, the Linux, pick that one. I'm going to pick this one for Catalina, and then it needs a username and password. You can continue uh, with registration or download if you haven't done this before. They're not going to use this to spam you or send your email. They really just want to collect usage data so they can use this in their justification for obtaining funding to support their very important work on this software. So I encourage you to do that. I'm going to try and see if I can remember what my uh, name is from the last time. Okay, never mind. Got it. Figured out. Had to be something along those sorts of lines. So here it's allowing me then to uh, agree to these terms and conditions, which are coming a bit like a novel, but I've read them honest. Now I'm going to go and pick the version that we want. It says this page contains special, short lived, special purpose test builds for BMD meant for a small number of of uh, test users. So I'm going to pick the general VMD update for all platforms. I'm going to fix that one. Allow. And that will go off and download. You can see my download uh, progress bar here. So, that, now, so the important thing here before we continue here is now this is uh, what's in the disk image. In the Catalina, there's a user guide too, which I'm not going to pay any attention to just yet because hey, that's the way we roll at the minute. But I do need, I can't just open this from the disk image. If I try and open this, what's going to happen? Well, it's not going to be happy because I shouldn't open from the disk image. I should install it on my computer. It's also going to say this cannot be opened or verified because it's you know, not from the it's not from the App Store or whatever. It doesn't have those security things. So there's two things I need to do. First is take this program and drag it to my Applications folder. So over here where my Applications live, I'm going to drag that over here. So now it's in my Applications. And I hear that little tick. It will, it will be in here somewhere. So if I go down to VMD, and I've got this 1.94 Catalina. This is the one that I've just uh, downloaded. So now I also can't just open this usually, right? I can't just double click on this and open it. But what I'm going to do is take my mouse and click on the right uh, hand button, or if you're on your trackpad, you know, your two fingers, just to bring up that contextual menu here so we can say click, open. Now that will allow us to read, let's click and read more. Protect your Mac, blah, 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 and click general. Click the lock icon to unlock it, and then enter the mystery to unlock this app. Okay, so it used to be that we could right click and then open it. Now I have to read the instruction. It says I have to go to my Apple menu, system preferences. Uh, uh, here's my system preferences window. And then go to security, privacy, and click general. So I'm going to look for uh, security. Uh, so here. And then general. And then this is locked, so I'm going to click the unlock button here. It'll require my uh, fingerprint or your password. So I'd say allow 
select the source from which you want my software to install the App Store, allow the apps only from the Mac App Store. It might be selected an App Store and identify developers, allow the apps from Mac Store and apps from identified developer registered with Apple. Uh, it was blocked. And say open it anyway. So now let's try again. I'm gonna just move this window to the side for a second. I've got my VMD here. Let's try and open this. And now it says it'll, it'll allow me to actually say open. See, there's a slight difference here from the previous one. It says move to trash, cancel open. I'm gonna say open. And it opens this thing with multiple panels and menus and windows and so on. Let me move them here on screen. So I've got all sorts of things. Let me go and drive here with this for a minute. So I'm going to do file and you mark it, and I'll open a um, PDB ID that one of the students had here. That's six VPO. Uh, I've never seen this structure before. Let's bring it up and say load. And it opens up here in this window. Let's display it by default in the lines representation here, which is the lowest kind of uh, requirement here to make anything. It's not particularly pretty, but what there is, if we zoomed all the way in, there's bits of amino acids there. You can see them right there's the side chain and various colored atoms. It's not very pretty. I'm going to go and change the way it's displayed by doing graphics, representations here. And then I'm going to uh, change the drawing method. I'm going to say here in this window, which is a little off the screen, I'm going to do drawing method, uh, new cartoon, for example. Okay, so that's a little prettier, right? That's like the Jane Richardson style protein cartoons that, that uh, uh, Professor Jane Richardson popularized very artistically here. I'm going to color it by chain. So here I'm going to do color, and I can pick different things to color by, and we color by chain. So each chain is an individual color. That goes from through the VMD color palette, and we can change these colors in a moment or two. But what we've got here is two, it looks like two identical chains of, of tubulin alpha, well, not identical, they're different, they're alpha and beta tubulin. And then there's a kinesin motor doing sat on top, it's straddling this like it would in a, in a microtubule kinesin complex, which is, uh, what this EM structure, I believe, is meant to be showing. And we can change this to make it a white background. So let's do uh, graphics, colors. Here, this brings up a, a, another little menu which can get lost underneath where we can change the color of everything. Let me do display, background, and change that to, uh, to uh, white. We can find white in here. So we'll change the background to white. I'll zoom out a little bit here. Move to your round. You can zoom with your mouse button. I'm clicking my left mouse button to rotate around. I'm using the middle mouse button to zoom in, so to speak. Now I want to take, a, I can close this window, I'm done with that. I want to take a high resolution structure or image of this thing. Let's do file, render. This brings up yet another little panel, which is the spirit of the screen here. I can do this with the snapshot, which will produce an image just like it's displayed. That's the last snapshot I was taking. Here it is, which is a pretty low resolution kind of pants image if we zoom in on it. If we see here, we, if, we, uh, if we zoomed in, you'd see this kind of nasty looking edges and things like that. Not, a, not the cleanest thing that you've ever seen. So let me close this. Please images and try a higher resolution one. I'm going to click rather than snapshot, I'm going to go attack on internal. And notice there's quite a few others here, including various ray trace options, some of which you'll have to install the call external software. I'm going to pick one that comes with VMD called Tachyon internal here. And I'm going to start rendering that. This will take a little bit longer. You'll notice in the, in the screen here, but it's done. It's popped up and I can already see that this is a higher resolution image it's very nice and bright and crisp here if I zoomed in I would see uh, that's to the same zoom level I was before so it's quite a bit nicer in terms of uh, quality by zoom back to where we where we were than the previous one so this is a good high resolution image I could
crop out the portion that's not really relevant for us or whatever. You can do this in your favorite um, your your favorite type of uh, graphics editing software and save as whatever version here. So I'm going to do file and then save as file or export and save as here. And then I can change from that format to maybe a more conventional TIFF image or JPEG image, depending on where you want to put this thing. So my image.tiff, and I can put that in my desktop, for example. And I have my high resolution image ready to go into my report. So if you're interested in using VMD further or learning more about it, actually how to do proper real um, investigative structural work with it and how to show things that um, that are a little bit more interesting than just taking pretty pictures then i encourage you to go check out the lab manual um, that we have on our class website from previous classes where we had a structural mathematics component to it and i can paste the link here below uh, the video mostly it involves learning how to use this representations panel how to add new representations here like if we said uh, not Protein, and you can put on something else and find the valves. So here's some uh, something else that isn't protein in this structure. I'm going to color it by a different me method here. I'm going to color it by name. So I see there's some ligands, or if you want to be accurate, ligands, right? In here, there's an ATP or ADP molecule in this uh, kinesin motor protein. It actually looks like a Hydrolyzable ATP analog, uh, ADP in this case, two phosphates. And here I can center on this and, uh, and zoom in on, on this portion, this motor protein that uses this ATP for, uh, for doing its stuff through the nitrogen in there. So it's a non hydrolyzable analog, ANP, PNP, or the, the, the three phosphates are linked by that nitrogen there. So we could start to learn a little bit more about it where it is. You can see that the track the tubulin here has a GDP uh, in it as well. You can see there's some kind of uh, clipping thing in that. And we can view these things in different styles. We could put on surfaces. Let's, let's pick uh, gen C. Okay, so there's all the gen C displayed as little spheres. I'll put it on maybe as a surface. Let me do not chain C. Let me do chain A and chain B. And I could put that in surface if you can see where surface surface. It will take a little minute to go and calculate molecular surface. This is pretty horribly colored by uh, colored by chain type. But there you can see that interaction surface that the kinesin sits on the helix in between those. A heterodimer of tubulin, and you can start to investigate further what's in the interface and learn how to use this program to start to dig into those sorts of details. That is a topic for another video or indeed just another class. I will we'll cover it then. Thanks. I hope this has been useful.